Let's check in with meteorologist Eric Dean to find out if the S word is in our forecast. I hope not. I'm Please not no. ready. Uh, no. Short answer is yes. Is. Oh. We're not going to see that, but maybe a flurry or two tonight going into tomorrow is not out of the question. But no matter how you slice and dice it right now, it's just downright chilly across the area with temperatures in the 20s and 30s. We're sitting right at 30 at the airport, 30 at the station. But with the wind out of the west northwest at 12 miles per hour, this is the number you want to dress for. 21 degrees. Humidity is sitting at 69%. So we're seeing temperatures in the 20s and 30s. Eau Claire, good evening to you guys. You're at 31, 32 in Winona. Preston and Decorah, you're seeing temperatures in the 20s. Same story in Viroqua, Black River Falls. You're seeing a temperature of 31. But again, with that wind starting to pick up, the number you want to dress for is this. We're seeing feels like temperatures in the teens and 20s at this hour. Decorah, you're at 18. Preston's at 15. 26, Winona. 21, La Crosse, 20 in Viroqua, 10 warmer warmer, if you will, and Sparta. Volk Field, your feels like temperature, the double deuces, 22 degrees. And take a look at the temperature trend over the past couple days. We were at 69 for Wednesday and Thursday. Today, we only made it to 34, and we're going to hover right around 34, 35, 36 as we go into the weekend. Here's the radar. We have a clean sweep across the area. This is going to get a break for the most part tonight into tomorrow. Maybe a stray flurry or two, not out of the question. What a front this was. Look at this. Over the past 24 hours, you can just see that front just slamming through the Cooley region, going through right now just to the west of the Ohio Valley. And that's where we're seeing temperatures still in the 50s and 60s. You can tell where that front is. Louisville's at 59. Pittsburgh's at 62. Chicago, 38. 30 in La Crosse, 18 in Fargo. But you go across over towards the Black Hills region. Rapid City's at 24. Billings is sitting at 25. But again, that feels like temperature in the single digits and teens. And that air is going to continue to push through as we go into the weekend. Look at Chicago, 33 degrees cooler than yesterday, 22 degrees cooler in La Crosse. Rapid City's at 9 degrees above. Same story in Billings. So we had that front push through. We're on the leading edge of a high pressure system, which is what's going to keep the winds out of the north. Behind me, this is the remnants of Nicole. This is pushing its way up and over across the Atlantic. So what's happening, this is going to push its way up. This cool front is going to push its way through. Portions of the Ohio Valley will get in uh, on the remnants of Nicole. So let's go ahead and bring it local when you wake up in the morning. Temperatures in the mid to upper 20s will greet you. But again, that feels like temperature will be in the single digits and teens. Sky Tracker showing a stray flurry or two not out of the question tonight going into tomorrow. The clouds will dissipate for tomorrow night going into your Sunday. But Saturday, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Temperatures in the low to mid 30s. So the details of the first flirt forecast for tonight. Again, a stray flurry or two not out of the question. Otherwise, cloudy skies winds will be out of the northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour the next eight. We go to 36 on Monday. We have a snow chance Monday and Tuesday. I may have to put one in on Wednesday as well. After we get into Friday and Saturday, we're going to see temperatures staying below freezing. Overnight lows will be in the teens. Some places, Ken and Amy, will see highs in the mid to upper 20s. Oh, so if you man. think this is cold, wait till next week. Yeah. Yikes, it did feel extra cold today, really being today. that it's like the first You know, I was day. spoiled. We had temperatures in the 60s. I even went outside, and I'm just like, what is this? Yeah, right. I want to go back in and curl up. Yes. Yeah, I know. I'm I think that's the weekend plan for zero sure. Zero plans for the weekend that's besides right. blanket on the couch. All right, thanks, Sarah. <laughs> you bet.